F, G, A, B, C. Hey everybody, this is Greg from Brooklyn Music Factory. We are going to take a look at opening up a keyboard track in GarageBand for iOS. So this will work on your iPhone or on your iPad. Uh, we are not gonna get into the nitty gritty on how to record anything. This is just to be able to cue up a keyboard in case you don't have one at home and you just wanna be making some music right away. So if you open up the GarageBand app, it'll look a little something like this or it might launch you right into a session. So if that's the case, we're gonna get to it. Uh, so what you're gonna do is, if you do start here, you're gonna go to Create Song, and then it's gonna give you a lot of different track options. What I want you to do is I just want you to swipe through. These are really cool to explore if you wanna go down that road. But you're gonna keep going until you find Keyboard. So uh, it gives you some options here. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to Smart Piano. Um, this synthesizer is pretty neat to experiment with too. But for now, we're gonna go to Smart Piano and it will open up this screen, which is not exactly what you're looking for. Uh, these are chords, which are pretty cool. You should try them out. So that's multiple notes happening at the same time, but that's not what a keyboard looks like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this red thing right here. Click on that. And boom, there's your keyboard. Um, so here, let's just take a listen. Right, so you have your keyboard here. Um, it doesn't have everything labeled. There's no way of turning that on. But it does have middle C labeled. It actually has all the C's labeled, which is really convenient. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Cool, so there you go. Have fun with this keyboard, and if you wanna get a little bit more into GarageBand, how to record this keyboard track and more, um, check out our other videos on that. Have fun.